Hi, I am Kakarla Krishna Kishore. So today we are going to discuss the creep testing as a mechanical engineering professor. So it is customary to speak a lot of things, especially creep testing in my material technology subjects. So today we are going to discuss the very important topic that is creep testing in material technology. Now, let me discuss the details of creep testing. Before going to understand the creep test, first of all, try to understand what is meant by creep test. Here, the creep test, what is it meant for? The creep test sometimes it is also referred as a stress relaxation test. The main point try to understand here, the creep test is also represented as a stress relaxation test, which is in general, it is used to determine the amount of deformation of a material experiences over time period while under a continuous it may be tensile or compressive load at a constant temperature. Here, the creep means it is a time dependent strain occurring under stress. That means here the main point is the stress must be constant for a period of time. Here the stress is temperature, the constant temperature. So that means you are going to apply the constant temperature on a material and that material will undergo the crack after some time. So that means the ability of the material, we are going to check the ability of the material, how much long the material will resist the creep crack. So once the material fails, automatically the creep crack generate and it will grow. Then try to observe some more salient features here that is how this uh, creep test is going to be performed the main procedure is in the creep testing that is conducted using a tensile specimen here the specimen shape is very very important in general in most of the cases the specimen is in the form of tensile specimen to which a constant stress is applied at constant temperature here we have used two words here one is constant stress so that means constant load and the temperature is also constant here and often by the simple method of suspending weights from it so this is only open but it is not regular and uh, stress must be constant and the temperature must be constant and this particular uh, creep test whatever the test that you are going to conduct it must be recorded on a graph that is strain versus time so here observe the picture here just it is simply hanged here one end is supported and other end is with the help of weight which gives some force in the material and it is having some constant temperature also. So once due to the temperature, after some hour, maybe one hour, maybe two hours or whatever, it will give some elongation. So that means the length of gauge. So this is the observed area here at which we have to do some analysis. If the length changes, that that is because of temperature. So you have to calculate how much time is required. What is the time it will give resistance? So that means up to what time it will resist the creep crackers. That is important in calculating creep. And if you observe the next point here, how what it measures? It measures the dimensional changes accurately at constant high temperature and constant load or stress here. So the main use of creep test is it is useful for modeling long-term applications which are strain limited. So that means whenever the strain is important in some calculations so we have to go for creep test creep test is the best test compared to any other material property test 
and it also provides uh, so that means why it is meant for it provides a prediction of life expectancy which is a must for any material so before going to purchase any material the customer will ask what is the life of the material that life expectancy is given by the creep test so that means this test is important the creep test is important in calculating life expectancy of material before service so that's why we are going to calculate with the help of a lot of machines or a lot of procedures are used to give the creep values and if you take the turbine blades that is the turbine blade is the best example for creep test here and now observe the values here that is um, it measures so what it measures here after the creep test is done then what it measures it measures the strain versus time whatever the creep test is completed after that you have to draw some graph with the help of software or with the help of manual data so you have to calculate strain versus time at constant temperature and load almost relatively the low loads and creep rate we will get low loads and creep rate and the duration is almost around 2000 to 10000 hours so that means here minimum number of hours is required for any material so we cannot say that suppose if you keep for 100 hours and if the material not get any crack then we cannot say that the material will resist creep so you have to wait for minimum number of days it depends on material to material in general some number of days some around 400 days is required for any material so that is only a general data but uh, uh, depends on the material that uh, data may be changes that means the duration may change from material to material now let us uh, see how this uh, creep uh, that is uh, creep test is going to do in the industry now let us observe can you fracture here and the strain typically less than 0.5 percent these are only values here these are only assumed values after giving a lot of experiments but most of the time uh, we are going to get around 0.5 percent only now observe the main point here the creep generally occurs at what temperature at what temperature the creep going to be uh, observed it occurs at elevated temperature that we have said in first slide and why this is common here for this type of testing to be performed with an environmental chamber so what is required to do creep test here environmental chamber is required for precise heating or cooling control so this is the main requirement for creep test and temperature control is must so if you are able to control the temperature then only we can do the creep test otherwise we cannot do the creep test so temperature control is critical in this test to minimize the effects of thermal expansion on the sample so whatever the experiment that is you are going to do in that temperature control is must that is very very essential or mandatory in creep test let us observe the pictures here take some electric furnace like this in that electric furnace keep the specimen like this assume this is a tensile specimen or whatever the specimen is like this, this is an electric furnace and after that here the platinum wire is arranged this is a platinum tube in that the platinum wire is arranged here so that we can identify how much length has been changed the particular specimen so this is a platinum wire is attached here and the arrangement is like this the here the telescope is arranged so that we can see what are the various changes are observed in the specimen 
the electric specimen after completion of some period of time here some changes may be observed in this area so that's why telescope is required to see the changes here and now after that the pulleys are arranged here the pulleys and so that uh, the weight may be kept with the help of pulleys here see the arrangement now the pulleys are attached with weights here that is load and the pulleys are connected the one end of the pulley is connected to the specimen and the other end of the pulley is connected to the load here so that is weight and uh, due to this weight the specimen so the undergone some tension so here we are parallelly applying the physical load that is the manual load here and at the same time because of the furnace the temperature gives a lot of impact on the material temperature is also a load so that means we are giving constant load here the load is not going to be varied it may be a physical load like this or it may be a temperature so these two cannot be changed so that means the temperature and the load must be constant here and next if you observe the temperature whatever the temperature that you are applying here so that will be controlled within 3 degree celsius for testing temperature up to 600 degree celsius this control is very very important within 3 degree celsius for testing temperature so that means to do the testing if the control if you are unable to control the temperature then this test cannot be then here and if you observe this here the telescope is uh, seeing the specimen in proper direction so almost uh, the creep testing as i said for 17 days this is a rough approximation after having a lot of experiments done by the various scientists they have concluded that the for creep testing for 17 days minimum number of days are required for one specimen very very long duration is required for one specimen and uh, here to do this creep test if the specimen is not broken after one for four 17 days or after the particular duration so what is the conclusion here the conclusion is the material resists and it is having a lot of ability to exhibit the malleable property or the ductile property or the other various properties the crack may not enter in an easy manner the guarantee the life expectancy of the material is more so all these are the conclusions after getting the creep testing so that means once the creep testing is completed then we can give all these conclusions for a particular material now observe the various features so that we have discussed up to now that is the unloaded specimen what are the specimen here that is once it is unloaded the specimen passed heated to the required temperature and the gauge length is measured the gauge length is very very important and once if you measure the gauge length if you note it down then we can do some analysis the predetermined load whatever the load that we have applied on the specimen that is a predetermined load only is applied quickly without shock that means how we are applying the load on the specimen that is also very very important quickly without shock and the measurement measurement of extension are observed at frequent interval so that means you have to observe continuously with the help of microscope so that means it may take suppose say 6 months or 1 year but we have to observe the specimen at frequent intervals of time whether it is responding or not if it is not responding then we have to check whether all the connections that means the furnace is a proper or not or it is working properly or not all these things we have to check 
and the last sentence is it is average of about 50 readings should be taken so uh, in general in ordinary experiments three readings are enough for any patient but in the case of pre testing minimum 50 readings minimum this is only a minimum here that is the average of about 50 readings should be taken and so this creep test is important to understand the creep analysis or the crack propagation so this is all about creep test so i hope you understand so in next coming videos we will discuss some more topics in material technology so thank you thank you one and all i'm kakala krishnakishore signing off